Why, hello everybody! This is Stranger Gamer back to conclude round 5 for Group D. In other words, the boring group because it's basically already been decided. So yes, LP Gozzi, Ultimate Dino Queen and Gypsy Danger already safely through to the last 32, but there is still plenty to play for for them three. You know, they want to get... If they want to get a favourable matchup in the last 32, they want to get a good finish. Good a win to get... Guess, to get some momentum back into the going into the last 32 round. If I get my words out. Champions team already eliminated and well, as for these two, they're basically playing for that fourth place spot, which will could be enough, you know, if they get you know, they're still in it. And yeah, well, this is the big game, isn't it? The thunderstorm going up against Gecko. A chance to get a chance to snag third place. Well, a fourth place spot maybe they'll probably have to get a bonus point win to do it or ideally a 3-0 win but you know it's not out the realms of possibility and then we will see LP Gotti taking on the champions team the fight to finish top is on for these three starting off with Ultima Dino Queen going up against Gypsy Danger right the O then as for Ultima Dino Queen in the red corner it is the one and only Uteraptor Ultima Dino Queen, four wins out of four in this tournament. Will she follow Hedy's footsteps and make it five wins out of five? I suspect so, but we'll just have to see, because Gypsy Danger has also shown some impressive form in this tournament. Since losing to LP Gozzi in the first match, it's been four win, five, three wins in a row. And they have a Rugops, and the Rugops was mightily impressive last time out. Will it be impressive again? I do believe the Banana Surprise can go through Dino Illusion, so take that into account. Oh, we start with a tie. Oh, it's a Sonic Blast! Good start from Gypsy. Sonic Blast coming right off the bat. Boosh! Boosh! Blip. Good start there from Gypsy Danger. The Uteraptor getting hit. Well, it's interesting on the Dino Queen. They, in the first couple of matches, they haven't been, they weren't that convincing. And I didn't think they would be in this position getting four wins out of four, but they are. Although they were very convincing against LB Gozzi last time out. Oh my god. Oh, oh, it's dead. Well, um, 1 0 lead for Jet for. Um, Gypsy Danger, and now a type advantage against this Anata Titan. Ultimate Dino Queen could be in a bit of a pickle here. Although, this Anata Titan has definitely shown its worth in this tournament for Queen so far, and it's going to have to do it again. Uh, no Sonic Blast this time. Ooh, here comes the Metal Wing, but again, with that tight disadvantage, it's gonna do little that it's gonna do limited damage. Ooh, what's this? It's a nature's blessing. Healing up after that tie there. Good hit for, from Queen. Oh, the Rugops is gone. The Rugops could not take advantage of the type advantage, and Ultima Dino Queen pulls it back. Well, it's even Stevens at the minute. Oh, yep, yep, the Rugops did die. I thought it wouldn't. Right, as for Gypsy Danger's second dinosaur, it is Abelosaurus. The oddity of the fire dinosaurs. Does it really deserve to be a fire dinosaur? Probably not. But, well, there we go. It is a fire dinosaur indeed. Oh, it's a clash of green dinosaurs. Ooh, it's a crit from the Anata Titan. Ultimate Dino Queen wrestling the momentum away from Gypsy Danger. Ooh, another crit. Although, Anata Titan's moves are extremely balanced, so his crit isn't that more, much more powerful than his other two moves. In fact, I'd probably say Metal Wing is his power, most powerful move. But look at that, a Fawn Whip, and Queen is in the lead. 
Looking good to make it five wins out of five. Looking very good. Abelosaurus going down. Well, now's a big test for Gypsy Danger because their third dino is Ampelosaurus. And now looking at the actual matchups, really, I thought Gypsy Danger would have had a chance. Tight, tight advantage against the Eocark area, but it's got to get past the Anata Titan first. A win for Ultimate Dino Queen won't guarantee top spot because LP Gozzi could get top spot if he wins his match. But a bonus point win might do it. It's interesting, isn't it? You know, Queen has won all her matches, and yet she is in top of Group D because Gozzi has got all bonus point wins. And I think, and I think they got the losing bonus point against Ultimate Dino Queen as well. So. <laughs> Shows the diff shows how vital those bonus points can be. Ooh, another atomic bomb. Not the best move to put on this guy, but you know, it's there nonetheless. Gypsy danger, not beaten yet. Ooh, but a crit from the Anat the Titan though. Inflicting damage to Amplosaurus. Not much damage. Will this be Fawn Whip? No, it's nature's blessing. That will help Queen tighten her grip on this match. Boom! At all wing, that's not good for Gypsy. Gypsy danger in a bit of trouble here. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Well, there's the bonus point guaranteed. The losing bonus point, that is. But let's be honest, I don't think Queen's going to get a losing bonus point. I think she's just going to get the win anyway. Ooh, maybe not. Ampelosaurus not defeated yet. Okay, now it's defeated. And it's a bonus point win for Ultimate Dino Queen. As she makes it five wins out of five. Well, for the moment, she will top Group D. But I suspect Gauzy will defeat the Champions team. So, I... Pretty confident Gauzy's going to win this group now, but Ultimate Dino Queen securing at least second spot, and Gypsy Danger will just have to settle for third place. So, let's have a look at the table real quick, and then we'll move on to our next match. Actually, now looking at it, Gauzy actually needs a bonus point win to top Group D. A win will not be enough for LB Gauzy by virtue of the fact that Queen beat Gauzy in the last round. But look at that, 5 out of 5 for, LB Go for Ultimate Dino Queen. In fact, the exact same record as Hedy. 16 points, 1 bonus point, and 5 wins. Right, now on to the biggest match of this round. Look, Gecko going up against the Thunderstorm. Right then, in the red corner, for Gecko, it is a Mega Raptor. And in fact, this matchup has two Mega Raptors in it. Each got a Mega Raptor. Which, one's, which one will be better, though? We'll just have to see. A massive game for these two here. Both need a bonus point win in order to secure to give themselves a fighting chance of getting out as one of the best fourth place teams. Because, again, seven points is not going to be enough. Right, as for the Thunderstorm in the blue corner, it is Pentaceratops. Hasn't quite happened for the Thunderstorm this time, unlike the last tournament where they did really well and got to the final. Well, the last tournament they, they were in anyway, because they were Monolofo G, if you remember those buggers. We start with a tie. So yeah, absolutely crucial here to get a bonus point win. Well, for both of our combatants. Which will take them to eight points, which might be enough to scrape fourth place. However, even, well, seven shots is on 11 points, as is Pilk. So those two will definitely go through. Cerno will probably be eliminated. Seven points won't be enough, sadly. Oh, here comes a Venom Fang. Uh, ben, well, we'll just have to see how the other groups finish, won't we? But yeah, that's all they can do. Is they can only do, they can only control what they do. That's what they say, isn't it? You can only do so much and just leave the rest up to chance. <laughs> Pentaceratops getting off a crit, though. Seems to be an even start so far, but this lightning axe could change that. And it's a thunderstorm in the lead. However, here is the wild child for Team Gecko. It is Gorgosaurus, the Alpha Gorgosaurus. 
It has the death fire. Could death fire help Gecko get a bonus point win here? Well, it's, they might need death fire to activate you because they are losing so far. But the Pentaceratops is on low health, so I suspect Gecko could should pull this back. Oh, maybe. maybe ooh, ooh, I'm not sure now. Oh, it's a tie. Another tie. Ties will favour the Penta, though. Oh, it's a hit. Not good for Gecko, but very good for the Thunderstorm. Okay, yeah, that is Pentaceratops gone. And we are level pecking. With a pointless tie bomb for the six. Okay, now the Gorgosaurus would have, does have the type advantage over this Megaraptor, but it is on such low health. I suspect the crit from the Megaraptor will be enough to kill it anyway. Definitely, and considering it's Mayfly as well, so it would have to get triggered first, which means the Megaraptor would have to get a hit first before being able to get off Mayfly, so the Thunderstorm's still in the driving seat, but Gorgo does have the death fire, so don't count Gecko out yet. Ooh, what's this? What's this? It's a power drain! The Gorgo's power is going to be drained away. Oh, it's dead. And because of that fatality, that will sadly be the end of Gecko in this tournament. And yes, that will all but confirm Gecko's elimination from this tournament. I mean, they might still come back and win, but seven points is not going to be enough. Put it that way. And well, if they lose, then it's definite, then it's certain elimination. But what an opportunity for the Thunderstorm now to get a bonus point win. All they need to do is kill the Pathagosaurus, and it's done. Oh, it's a crit, though. Fun. Gecko not going down without a fight. Doom. Oh, look at that damage. Decent damage done there. Oh, this could be just what Thunderstorm needs. This could be just what Thunderstorm needs. A Mayfly. Oh, wow. <laughs> that damage. Dude, that's busted. <laughs> I think this made is probably counter type after that. Oh, there it is! There's the bonus point win for the Thunderstorm. And sadly, that is the end of Gecko in this tournament, which is quite disappointing because I, like I like the look of their team. You know, a pretty solid team. Pretty unlucky in this tournament as well, especially in the first match. But, you know, sadly, it is elimination for Gecko. As for the Thunderstorm, that bonus point win does give him a slight chance of getting out as one of the best fourth place teams. So yes, let's have a quick look at the table and then we'll move on to our final match. As it stands, the Thunderstorm will be going through as one of the best fourth place teams. Along with Pilk, Seven Shots and Fool's Cap Hamato. And, well, there's quite a few people on Seven, so there'll be Emmy and Cerno. So f oh, and Alpha Trooper as well. So far, so yeah, <laughs> still tight for that fourth place spot. But, yep, that is sadly the end of Gecko, as I said in this tournament. Didn't really happen. At least they got a, they, they at least got one win in the tournament, which is good to see. Good to see. Right then. Now it's time for the final match of Group D. And that will be LP Gozzi taking a crack at the champions team. Alpha Slash. Right, in the red corner for LP Gozzi. We know all he's got at this point. It's Terry. Very underwhelming last time out against Ultimate Dino Queen, which probably was the main reason why Gozzi lost that match. But I think it will shine again in this matchup, and it does have the type advantage over the Champions Team's first Dino as well. So that could be key for Gozzi there to win this match. A win, well, Gozzi needs a bonus point win to top Group D. A normal win will not be enough, because Queen will still be top. Right, as for the champions team in the blue corner, we have a Sejuangosaurus, the purple predator itself, and I've just thought of a really cool idea for a grudge match. A Christmas special grudge match. Okay, yeah, we're, we're going to do it. Christmas special grudge match. I, I will post 
a pole like I don't know when but just have to see and we are going to have Dr. Z going up against Spectre we're gonna have the respective we're gonna have the leaders of their respective groups so Dr. Z being leader of the Alpha Gang and Spectre being leader of the Space Pirates going at it in a grudge match leave a comment down below if you'd like to see that and I may throw some twists in as well. <laughs> oh, it's a tight. Good start from Terry. Burning Dash getting triggered. Oh, it's another tie. Ties favour Terry though. Does have the heat eruption. Ooh, got a crit from the Sejuan. But again, with that tight disadvantage, look at that. Minuscule damage. Ooh, that's another tie. No heat eruption though. We've seen heat eruption quite a few times with Terry in this tournament. Still no heat eruption, but Gozzy still has the lead. Ooh, however, the Sejuangosaurus gets off a hit. So the champion... Ooh, is a death fire. The champion's team in the lead, but might not be for long. Ooh, what have we got here? It's the Cyclone. Well, we ain't going to see heat eruption because of death fire. Can Gozzy get the hit here? Oh, he can! There's the death fire. It's kind of wasted, to be honest, but at least you get to see it. Death fire coming in, finishing off the Sejuangosaurus and giving Gozzy a 1-0 lead. Okay, but because death fire activated, next round will be a tie. Which, in fact, actually suits Gozzy because he'll probably get eruption off. <laughs> I think that's the second time Gozzy's got off Death Fire in this tournament. Impressive. Will we see him do it in the knockout rounds? Well, we'll just have to see one way. But anyway, as for the Champions Team second, I know we have Armatus. Can Champions Team end their tournament on a high? Well, so far they're not. Because Gozzy's winning. Alright, well, as I said, because Deathfire activated last round, this round will be a tie. So there it is, there's the tie. Ooh, but there's the hit from Armatus. Triple headbutt coming in to finish off Terry. Bust his kneecaps and ankles. And even the score. Oh, look at the, look at the bend of the legs. That's horrific. Poor Terry. Crippled for life. Right there. Now for Gozzi's second dinosaur. That dino being the Alpha Acrocamphosaurus. <laughs> and we did see glimpses. We did see quite a bit of this guy last time out against all the Dino Queen. Will the Dino Stuffer help Gozzi take control of this match again? Or can the Champions team take the lead? I tell you what, you put a red coat on Dr. Z, he could be a good Santa. He could be the evil Santa. Oh, it's a crit! Big damage coming out at this way. Gossy not losing his momentum there. Yum. Boosh. Can he secure a bonus point win? Well, on this evidence, I'd say yes. Ooh, ooh, Armatus not done yet, though. Alpha Acro looking mightily impressive there. And, yep, yeah, there goes Armatus. Right the O there. Now for Dino number three for the Champions team. It is Parasaurolophus. Um, where has it gone wrong for the Champions team? I would probably put it down to them having a weaker, weaker team than they did before, because... Last time they had freaking Mapusaurus, Spinosaurus, and Pachycephalosaurus, a really strong team. This time, though, it's the dinos in it are not as strong. I mean, they're champions of their respective tournaments, let's not forget that, but they're not, very, they're not as strong as the other three, if you get what I mean. Ooh, Metal Wing coming in, though. Parasaurolophus getting a hit. I was actually going to use Parasaurolophus in my team. Because I wanted this, I wanted the resilience-ness of it. But I decided to go with Deinonychus instead. Oh, that's a tie. Ooh, a 
a tie. In fact, if Gozzy keeps going scissors, he'll be safe because of the dino stuff. An another tie. Oh, can Gozzy get a bonus point? Oh, well, he gets a hit. You're guaranteed at least the losing bonus point. There's always, there's always that. Oh, there's another tie. Oh, this is so close. One hit will do it for Gozzy. Oh, no, it's another tie. Can Gozzy win the group? The answer to that is no. Alpha Acrocanthosaurus going down. So Gozzy will not be winning Group D. Instead, it'll be Ultimate Dino Queen. Let's be honest, she deserves to win Group D. You win all your matches and you don't win the group. That's kind of insulting. <laughs> but anyway, here's Gozzy's third dino, the Kralophosaurus. And look at that power, over 3,000. Mightily impressive. And well, we haven't seen this thing at all. Actually, we saw Gl we saw quite a bit of it against Queen, but other than that, we haven't seen it at all. Right, let's have a look. Skizzers. And Skizzers. Oh yeah, there it is. Another tie finishes off the para and gives LP Gozzy the win. Bouncing back after defeat against Ultimate Dino Queen there. Going into the last 32. In, in a good position, LP Gozzy. But it will be second place for LP Gozzy as Ultimate Dino Queen will be top of Group D. Right, we'll have a look at the table, we'll have a look at the possible opponents for these three, and we'll end the session. Alright, alright, I... I <laughs> right, that is the final table for Group D. Again, not much has changed there. LP Gozzi and Ultimate Dino Queen level on 16 points, but by virtue of the fact that... Virtue of the fact that the Ultimate Dino Queen beat Gozzi, she is above him. And yes, yeah, well, he's only level with her because of the four bonus points. Yes, that's right. <laughs> I had a bit of a hiccup because I, I think I forgot to give... I forgot to update the bonus points during the last round of Group D where Gozzy got a losing bonus point. So yes, there's, there's a final table for Group D. Ultimate Dino Queen winning it. LP Gozzy finishing in second place. And Gypsy Danger coming in in third. And the Thunderstorm, well, they'll just have to wait and see if eight points will be enough for them to get out the group. Like, it could be, it could be. But, you know, the odds, I would say, are against him at the minute. But you never know. And also, I will say that that will 100% guarantee that Pilk will go through as well as one of the best fourth place teams. So, if it wasn't certain before, it's definitely certain now. Because Pilk is ahead of Thunderstorm, Random Shy, Ghost and Cerno. Who are all in fourth place in their respective groups. So, yeah. Pilk is definitely, definitely through. But let's be honest, that's no surprise. Right, let's have a look at the matchups that these three could be playing. Okay, so let's have a look. Ooh, Ultimate Dino Queen will be taking on whoever finishes runner-up in Group F, which, as it stands, will be Ratchet. Ooh, it could be interesting. As for Gozzi, they will be taking on... Ooh, good matchup for Gozzi, possibly. Taking on one of the fourth place teams. So you'll have to wait you'll have to wait till the actual draw to find out your opponent. And as for Gypsy Danger, they will be taking on whoever finishes runner up in group E, which as it stands is Shin Dominus. Ooh, could be a tough match for Gypsy Danger that. But yep, yeah, you know, it can all change very quickly. And well, I'm about to do group E, aren't I? So we will fight we will actually find out who Gypsy Danger will be will be playing in the next video. So yep, stay tuned for that, like, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff, share my video, share it with the world, and until next time, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.